You may not recognize our next guest's name, but after seeing his performance alongside Tom Hanks in the blockbuster Captain Phillips, you won't forget his face or the most popular line of the film. Take a look. We got a problem. We pushed the ship too hard. We're off the grid. That means the computer's now offline. Captain. The ship's broken. Captain, no one get hurt if you don't play no game. Uh, it's, the ship's broken. We had to go. Nobody gets hurt. Easy. Because hey! Look at me. Sure. Look at me. Sure. I'm the captain now. Wow. Wow. That's deep, right? Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm the captain now. I, I love, love that line. Right. And joining us is the man who delivered it, actor Barkhad Abdi. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for having My me. My goodness. Now, is it true that you completely ad-libbed that line? Yeah. Um, just I just became the character, you know. That, that was the first time I seen Tom mm -hmm. in the movie. And just, it was a big seed. So I just, mm -hmm. you know, I had to do all I can. I became the character and, you know, just, mm. it came out. That line just came out. And now that's the line everybody's quoting. We're like, mm -hmm. what'd you say? You know, I'm the captain now. <laughs> that's what we've been using around the office. Yeah. <laughs> How did it come to you? I don't even know, honestly. Mm -hmm. It's not something I planned, you know, I, I just try to become the character, you know, mm -hmm. and I looked at it how, like, that was the second time he's trying to get in that ship. And mm -hmm. He finally got up there and, you know, he can see he's playing in games, so mm -hmm. he was like, I'm the captain now, yeah. captain. <laughs> well, you know, Captain Phillips is actually based on a true story about a, you know, a ship that was hijacked by Somali pirates. So right. were you familiar with the original story before auditioning? Yeah, yeah. I remember the story had been in um, the news, like mm. right when it happened. I, I remember watching it. And it was just <laughs> very interesting, you yeah. Now, your character, Muse, is the ringleader of the hijacking pirates. How did you come to land this role? Because this is your first acting job ever. Yeah. And you end up alongside wow. Tom Hanks? <laughs> you know, uh, we never know what happens tomorrow. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that's the story of my life. One day, I'm just at my friend's house watching TV, mm -hmm. and, you know, the casting call commercial came in. Tom Hanks, Somali actress. So I just went there, and I gave it a shot. And, mm -hmm. Who knew, you know, I was going to come. Like, there I found my friends, you know, we formed a group, you know, we auditioned. We had to come back a couple of times, audition, and then we came to L.A. Were you nervous? Were you excited? Of course, I was nervous. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, talk, talk, us, talk to us about what was going through your mind. You're standing before, you know, before a casting agent. Yeah, it was like, honestly, at that time, to me, it was like, okay, just give it a shot, you mm -hmm. know. They came to my neighborhood, you know, I lived, it, I lived close to that, place they came into, a Brian Crow Center. I lived there for about almost 10 years. Okay. Wow. I didn't live there at the time, but you know, I lived, that was like literally the longest building I ever lived in. Mm -hmm. So it was like, okay, you know, just, it came a little too close, you know, and acting was something that I love to do, you know, and you know, but I, I just went there, I gave it a shot. <laughs> but you've never had any formal training. I mean, before this, you were a limo driver, right? So right. what did you do? How did you even go about preparing for this role? You know, um, what did I do basically was uh, I read the story. Mm -hmm. I, I was kind of familiar with what happened and I'm a Somali person myself. Mm -hmm. I was born in Somalia. I left there by the age of seven, but I witnessed a whole year of war, mm. you know? So I, I understood, you know, like this guy is um, a guy that have nothing to lose. You know, he grew up in Somalia, you know, he, he never went to school. There's no government, no job, no hope, you know, basically. So he grew up there and I look at him like, a person that have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You can identify with. His yeah, character. I can identify with his character, and at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. and the other part when I feel compassionate about him, is because um, I feel myself. I feel blessed to have parents that got me out from country to country to be a better person, mm -hmm. and apparently he didn't have that. So, like, I will put myself in that place just to get the character out, you know, and just, I used a lot of imaginations. Mm -hmm. So. Now, during that period, when mm -hmm. you were six years old, you got used to the sound of gunshots, used to seeing dead bodies? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like we would, uh, me and my brother, when we go to sleep, we would um, tell the name of the guns just by hearing the sounds. Wow. Mm. And dead bodies everywhere, and you know, there was this woman that would get raped every night. Mm. She was so loud. <laughs> 
So while you're filming this movie, are you thinking and sort of connecting with the desperation of the Somali pirates at that time and what must have been going through their head that they were so desperate to hijack a ship? Correct, yeah. And so how, I, did you, how did that play out in your character? It played out right, you know, because I would just, just imagine, you know, like, what does this mean to him? Mm -hmm. And like, how bad does he want it? Mm -hmm. So I would just think about that and, you know, just put, like, what if that was me? What if that was you? You know? But at the same time, you know, I don't excuse the acts of violence, you know, I think it's really wrong to do yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. No matter what the case is, there should be a reason, you know, a way up. You know, but in this situation, like, I would un understand, because there was no much options for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's they had like... nothing. They had nothing, yeah. Now, some critics have said that this film cast a negative light on Somali people. How do you feel about that? You know, I mean, the negative light been lighted on the Somali people for the last two decades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I blame that on certain Somali people that just think for, on, for their own pocket and, you know, they don't look for the overall goodness of the country and the people. So this situation is at least understandable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's understandable and at the same time it's a true story that happened. Right. So it's not as big of a deal as the other stuff that have been happening. <laughs> mm. I literally grew up hearing just bad stuff about Somalia yeah. after bad stuff, so. Wow. What was it like to work with Tom Hanks? Mm -hmm. Let's turn it around, have a little right. fun. <laughs> yeah. Tom Hanks. <laughs> it, was, it was cool, honestly. You know, he's really a humble guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's hardworking, and you know, he, he taught me a lot about acting, and you know, which you really have to do to mm. become the character, you know, because I would be amazed how fast he become the character, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what were the specific lessons that he said to you? Just do this, try this, you know, what were some of the things? There was, um, there was no specific lessons. But at times, you know, he would, you know, like some scenes I would get stuck and, you know, he would just, the director was always there to tell me mm -hmm. exactly what I need to be done. But for him, it was like, he would tell me a little thing here and there, but I, mostly I would look at him. I would watch how he do it. Mm. Okay, before we let you go, I mm. have to ask you about what it was like to move from Somalia to Yemen to Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota? Minnesota. Are there Somalians in Minnesota? It's actually, that's where the largest uh, Somalian community is in North America. Really? Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So what was that transition like for you? you into Minnesota, it was, it was all right. Uh, there was already uh, a big population of Somali people there already, so. You know, it kind of helped me fit in past there mm -hmm. <laughs> without me not even knowing the language. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was it's a cool place, honestly, beside the winter. Beside, right, beside, beside the, the winter. winter. <laughs> okay, so you've gone from a war-torn refugee to a limo driver to now a huge movie star. <laughs> that doesn't happen to anyone except for maybe Forrest Gump. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now, what is next? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, just watch and see how it goes. Okay. You continue to acting, plan. maybe? Correct, yeah. Okay. I You're going to do the whole Hollywood move or what? That's the plan. That's oh, the plan. okay. That's the plan. I'm trying to move to L.A. and see where it goes from here. Okay, can you please say I'm the captain now before we go? <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing now. He's like, I can't even do it. I like, that's, a, that's a nice that, that, version. That's good. Okay. good enough for us. Okay. That'll work. Right. And we'll look forward to seeing you in your next film as well. Thank you. All right. And Captain Phillips is in theaters now, so go check it out. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.